Hey there. In this short video, I'll be demonstrating the new dynamic card feature for Metaflow. These dynamic cards allow you to attach custom visualizations to your Metaflow flows. So you can then use them to observe the state of the system live in real time as things are executing. Let's now look at a run I just started. First, we have our start step here. And then after the start step, we'll be loading the data from our data warehouse and doing some pre-processing using DuckDB. And then we'll take a look at the geographic distribution of the data, create some embeddings, and then visualize those embeddings using a custom visualization. We'll then train a model and then push the resulting model to external systems. So let's now take a look at the load data step. So in this case, we're interested in looking at the CPU and memory of the data loading because we're interested to see how DuckDB performs. We can now see that the CPU is spiking here and the memory seems to be nicely trending down after the processing is done and things are looking pretty good. So let's now look at the geographic distribution of our data. So this is a custom interactive map to see what the data looks like. What's even cooler is that we now have this embedding visualization that is a 3D scatter plot and we can see how the data is distributed. It's also interactive and you can customize it as well. Very cool. Now let's train this model. So here we're training an XG boost model, keeping an eye on the training loss and the validation loss. The validation loss is the orange curve here. The epochs are growing. It seems that the validation is pretty flat. I think that the model is probably just overfitting at this point. The chart is interactive, so you can see the exact loss numbers as you wish. Let's see. I think that the model is finishing up now. So we're pretty much done here. Yep, the model is done. So we're ready to push the model to external services. So we're pushing this model to a couple of experiments that we have running. This will take a while. So we have these progress bars that nicely show how fast we're able to update those external services. Some of these services update faster, as you can see here, again, using this custom visualization, while others take a bit longer to execute. And again, everything that you see here is fully customizable. You can fully decide what you want to see, and it really depends on your own system. So I think that the last one is now finishing up and we're all done. To recap, what you just saw in this video was basically a realistic system that loaded data, created some embeddings, we were able to eyeball the distribution of the input data and then train the model. And in all cases, everything was fully observable, thanks to the new dynamic cards. We hope that you like this new feature. Come say hi on Slack and let us know what you think. Thank you.